Okay, in our previous video, we looked at, at in SPS at the, uh, the cycling speed data and produced um, a histogram to examine it. And this is that histogram here. And we could see that uh, this value here, the mode, looks like it's probably more representative than the mean you see that the mean is given here and, it, and we can see that the mode is around the 20 mile an hour uh, mark and clearly then these tail values are skewing the mean away from the mode um, down to these lower values uh, but we can actually go and look and get SPSS to tell us exactly what the mode is. And so what we can do is um, go back to the main SPSS window. Uh, and then we can go to the Analyze menu. And under Analyze we've got number of options and how to look at our data. I just want to look at the descriptive statistics under here. In particular, um, let's look at the frequencies. So the variable that we're interested in is velocity. So we add that to the variables box. And then we can choose which statistics we're interested in. So um, for the time being I'm going to say well I want to compare the mean at uh, the median which is simply the middle value and the mode which is the most recurring value and then we can also look at um, these measures of how widely dispersed or the spread of the data and so maybe we'll look at the standard deviation continue. Um, we don't want to display the frequency tables because we've got a histogram that uh, represents that information anyway. And press OK. And there we go. So what we get here is it indeed mean is around 17 miles per hour. Uh, the median which is here miles per hour and the mode 19 miles per hour so clearly there's a progression in those numbers um, skew that we can see visually so uh, what we can do now is we can say well we're interested so much in this data down here um, and we, we know also that we're a bit dubious about anything above 30 miles per hour. So, how about we try and filter the um, the data set so that we only see the, um, uh, we only include in the analysis the values that are actually of interest to us. So if we go back again to the SPSS main data window, and this time, let's go to the data menu, and we can select cases, and we can add a condition to which cases we want to select. So again, we go to velocity, we click on if the condition is satisfied, so if, and we're going to say, well, we only want it if the velocity is greater than 10 miles per hour and select the and sign the ampersand and if the velocity is less than 30 miles per hour press continue okay 
data window and you'll see that an extra column has now been added and in some of these is a zero and you see where there's a zero that corresponds to a velocity of 2.27 miles per hour and that's because that's outside of the conditions we said remember we said that we'll only con uh, data if it's above 10 miles per hour and less than 30 miles an hour it's clearly below 10 miles per hour so it's been rejected from our data set so now we can go back first we can look at the histogram so go back to the chart um, let's just do this different start so go to histogram pull that chart onto the to velocity put that one down onto there OK. And SPSS should produce for us a history. And now we can see that history um, starts at 10 miles per hour and goes up only 30 miles per hour. Uh, and for we can go back to the data window and tell it to reanalyze those descriptive statistics. Looking at the variable velocity, statistics, let's look at the mean, median, and mode. Continue. OK. And now we can see that the mean and the median are 18.45 or 18 miles per hour, and the mode is 19 miles per hour. So they're still not exactly the same, but they're uh, much closer than they were previously. So we've effectively made data set now more normal. Anyway, that's all I was going to do in this session. Um, thank you for listening.